we need to protect what is unique. Investing in humanity is investing in all our futures. Despite our challenges and our differences, the strength of our humanity is our resilience. When people pull together, we can make a bigger impact. And making an impact on humanity is the very reason we are all here today. We need to learn how to manage crisis and not to be managed by crisis. Indeed, we can be proactive rather than reactive. And if I stand for that approach. Investing in our future means investing in our children. Investing in girls and women is investing in a better and a brighter world. And we cannot continue to make this case. Here, this here. is a case that happens. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite the board, the board of change makers. All these problems are solvable. It takes competent management. Stop listening to those damn echo chambers in people's ears. Sit down, do the work. So imagine that I have at my hand a wand where I can grant you one wish. For me, it's very easy. I have Vision 2030. I want to achieve it. I'd wish for normalization of international and domestic relations. Working together to try to achieve those metrics would be the thing that I would want most. Strong leadership from Europe on energy matters. Is I said I could grant a wish, not a miracle. <laughs> Strong U.S. leadership um, in sending certain messages around the world to help create a framework so we can all work together and move forward. In a world that uh, has a common future, common interests, common commitment. Seeing the U.S. and China around the table again. Peace and stability in the world. And I'm going to stand by that. The FII is a great platform. We need to be proactive instead of being reactive. The Kingdom has set very high targets for our energy mix. Keep your seat for a conversation which will happen now. Monsieur le Président, quel rôle l'Afrique doit jouer dans ce nouvel ordre mondial? Il faut par la coopération, par le multilateralisme, euh, rénover, bâtir. There's plenty of signs for encouragement as well. So on balance, uh, I'd say yeah, it's appropriate to be cautious right now, uh, but the, the gloom uh, arguably is overdone. And by the way, we at the ministry, we don't go for equality. We go for meritocracy. Merits governance. The amazing thing now is that we've got these great companies that work with most mayors in the city and I hope my colleagues in Saudi Arabia, they work with them. It's my privilege to announce that we're going to be celebrating FII in Miami next year. Artificial intelligence, big data, we have a great, great, great challenges. But investing in humanity means come back to be leader. You can invest in your society and education and create opportunity that will uh, make this place, uh, I, I think, absolutely incredible. You look at what China did over 20 years. But Ben, most importantly, you're also a voice for what the transition of VCs could be. Clean energy is the driver of the new economy. This year alone, we'll, we would have delivered more than 2,800 events, cultural events. When you know it and the culture of the others, it gives you a sense of sharing. And this is where Saudi Arabia gives an incredible example in this. I would like to congratulate you again. The best of Saudi is the Saudis. And I think it is innate. Congratulations. We cannot do this without His Royal Highness, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. What are the opportunities for the kingdom? I think the kingdom has got to continue to do what they're doing. I mean, they're doing it at such a breakneck speed, Richard. It's, it's phenomenal. Saudi Aramco Venture Capital will announce our launch a $1.5 billion uh, for sustainability fund. Thank you. Thank you first for an amazing first day. 
yesterday at FIS 6. We have to continue to invest because there will be great opportunities. We need to figure out how there's a global solution to at least get to a ceasefire on the hostilities. The most important one is reduction in productivity, which means probably a higher inflationary environment. That Russia is definitely hit hard and I think that everybody who says that the Russian economy is not suffering uh, is wrong. Steel, cement, chemicals, aviation, shipping, all of which we are absolutely convinced can get to net zero in themselves. It's our pleasure at the PIF to announce the completion of the inaugural voluntary carbon market today. Including taking roles inside these large organizations that help define how we're going to change the culture of our work, for example. The next decade is going to be enormous and the profit making and the business making capability during this enormous transition, for those that understand it, will be wonderful. Next year, FII 7, we hopefully have our shortlisted winners for the first round of this award. Having a race in these areas, as soon as they're ready, will offer the chance to promote through a marketing platform. The technology exists where you can make it really easy and now you can get people traveling from Qatar to Saudi or from Saudi to Italy. And the more people join, participate to events like uh, the FII, like the World Cup, uh, here in the region, the more people will realize uh, how important this part of the world. I firmly believe the new global order will be shaped by the discussions we have, the plans we make here at the FII. Thank you all very much.